This podcast is brought to you by Progressive. Are you driving your car or doing laundry right now? Podcasts go best when they're bundled with another activity, like Progressive Home and Auto Policies. They're best when bundled too. Having these two policies together makes insurance easier and could help you save. Customers who save by switching their home and car insurance to Progressive save nearly $800 on average. Quote a home and car bundle today at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. National average 12-month savings of $793 by new customers surveyed who saved with Progressive between June 2021 and May 2022. Potential savings will vary. This episode contains explicit language. Welcome to Mom and Dad are Fighting, Slate's parenting podcast for Monday, August 21st, the Meditation and Mindfulness Edition. I'm Zach Rosen. I make a different podcast. It's called The Best Advice Show. And I'm dad to Noah, who's almost six, and Ami, who's almost three. We live in Detroit, Michigan. I'm Shamila Lemieux. I'm a writer, contributor to Slate's Karen Feeding Parenting column, and mom to Naima, who is 10, and we live in Los Angeles. I'm Elizabeth Newcamp. I write the homeschool and family travel blog, Dutch Dutch Goose. I'm the mom of three littles, Henry, who's 11, Oliver, who's nine, and Teddy, who's six, and we live in Tokyo, Japan. On today's show, breathe in, breathe out, and slowly close your eyes unless you're driving. We're going to talk about mindfulness activities for kids that are especially perfect for bedtime. We'll also tell you what we can't stop obsessing about during our round of recommendations. Then we'll end today by opening up the listener mailbag to hear from you. That's all after a quick break. As a parent, you want to set your kids up for success. That starts with empowering them to learn in ways that are best for them. K-12-powered schools can help your child start reaching their full potential in life now and give you the support you need to get them there. K-12-powered schools are tuition-free, online, accredited public schools for kindergarten through 12th grade, designed to help your child to learn at their own pace and in their own place with an engaging curriculum that supports individual learning styles. K-12-powered schools' state-certified teachers are trained online educators, and they utilize hands-on, innovative technology to make learning interactive. K-12 has more than 20 years' experience helping students gain the skills they truly need to thrive in the future. And it could be perfect for your child, too. Join the more than 2 million families who have been served by K-12 and empower your students to reach their full potential now. Go to k12.com slash momanddad today to learn more and find a tuition-free K-12-powered school near you. That's the letter K, the number 12, dot com slash mom and dad. K-12 dot com slash mom and dad. This podcast is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Hey, listeners, whether you love true crime or comedies, celebrity interviews, news, or even motivational speakers, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue, right? And guess what? Now you can call the shots on your auto insurance, too. Enter the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. The Name Your Price tool puts you in charge of your auto insurance by working just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, then they'll show you a variety of coverages that fit within your budget, giving you options. Now that's something you'll want to press play on. It's easy to start a quote, and you'll be able to choose the best option for you, fast. It's just one of the many ways you can save with Progressive Insurance. Quote today at Progressive.com to try the Name Your Price tool for yourself and join the over 29 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. All right, let's get into our question. Dear Mom and Dad are fighting. What are your current favorite kids' meditation podcasts, videos, and apps? My kids are seven and five. The younger one's anxiety ramps up at night, and I'd like to give them some tools. I'm thinking short, 10 minutes or less, meditations or breathing practices. I would love to also incorporate some progressive muscle relaxation and body scan. We'd like to make this a nightly practice we can all do as a family as we wind down for bed. Thanks. Just trying to be zen. What say you, Elizabeth? Oh my gosh. I love this kind of stuff so much. <laughs> like, You're going to have some ideas. I, I just know it. I have some ideas. First, I want to really recommend this great book. It's called Good Night Yoga, a pose by pose yes. bedtime story. Um, We checked it out from the library and actually did it so many times that we didn't need to own the book anymore. (laughs) We just like learned kind of the rhythm. But this goes through just like a little yoga practice you can do in their room with some nice 
fun music playing, you know, choose your favorite soundscape is usually the kids get to choose like, well, where are we doing the yoga? And then we have Alexa play wherever that Mm. is and do this just little wind down pose. I find it's good for me to, um, your older kids may not be as into the book, but the book was a good way to introduce kind of this idea of stretching um, and and just kind of getting in that space of bedtime and calming down. On that note, if you don't want to read a book, there's also Cosmic Yoga YouTube, and they do a couple of sleep-related ones um, that are great. I just find Cosmic Yoga to be wonderful. Have you guys done that, the Cosmic Yoga? Mm-mm. No. Oh my gosh, she's she like dresses in this onesie and does it in front of a green. Oh screen. yes, she's we did do this during COVID yeah, okay. a little bit. She's right, super right, fun. right, right. She does some um, some ones that are just for sleep, though. Uh, also, for if the book seems like too little, I also have a set of um, yoga cards that I use during the day. Like we just draw them to do a couple stretches, but you could easily pull a few of these at night to do as well. I just really think having kids move their bodies is really good before you're then going to get into bed and and kind of get ready for sleep. So it's a good way to kind of set the stage for bedtime. I think it kind of distracts them from being too in their head. I don't know about you, but like for us, the bedtime routine at night is is crazy. Like it just feels like we're herding cats and people can get kind of worked up. So like gathering and being like, okay, we're going to do this like two to five minute kind of yoga stretches and then get Mm -hmm. into our beds. Mm -hmm. Um, I really like the Better Sleep app. She asked for like Mm -hmm. apps and podcasts. Mm -hmm. Um, It has like soundscapes and stories. There's also, of course, like Calm Headspace. But the key here is check with your insurance provider because a lot of them provide access either discounted or for free to one of these mental health apps. It'll usually be under like the adult or mental health section of your health insurance, but almost all of them have a kids section. Um, So just look, I I know uh, we noticed that TRICARE had provided one not through TRICARE, but through a like a military family resource. Uh, And then I was mentioning this to some like civilian friends and they were like, oh yeah, my health insurance provides it as well. So definitely um, check into that. They have all, there's, there's a whole host of them, but check and see if you can get one for free. Otherwise I think they're a great investment, especially if everyone's going to use them. I use them at night. I have some more, but I'll end with these these last two before I throw it off. There's an audio book called There's a Magic Door Under Your Bed, which is kind of a starter into like positive dreaming, um, which my kids really like. And it's an mm. audio book and it sort of ends with some music that's on Audible. I also found it on our like library's digital checkout. I know you said it's your younger child, but for kids about that writing age, I really love the Big Life Journal, and that is something that we have done and do just a little bit before bed. I know one of the practices for adults is kind of to get into the habit of just writing down all that stuff to kind of leave it for the next mm-hmm. day, and Big Life Journal is kind of a guided way to do some of that. It's it's working on a positive growth mindset. Um, But that's something a lot of times we encourage the kids to kind of sit down and work on, um, like while we're doing dishes or cleaning up. So they might work on that or do that quietly as we're doing the bedtime routine. It doesn't always work. But um, my kid that is into writing has really taken that on as something they love to do. And it's a really great practice to get into of sort of this just before bed, I'm going to get all this stuff out of my head and I can revisit it. Um, later. And they have a big life journal for like younger kids too. It's definitely more guided, Um, but that might be something to look into as well. What are you guys, do you, are you guys using any of things like this? What, What are you enjoying? Do you have ideas? We're not, honestly. I haven't tried anything like this with Naima in a while, but I can say that the Calm app has some pretty good, uh, mindfulness, activities for kids and they've got it broken down by age three, four, five, six. Um, they've got wind down stories. I think they've got one, including Moana, mm-hmm. you know, they've got a lot of stuff for kids. The one thing that we do play sometimes, which I think is the closest thing to mindfulness is instead of, um, instead of I spy, it's like I spy with a sound. And so it's just like encourages them just to like focus on mm-hmm. one sound out in the world. But I'm excited to get into this stuff. This question came from the Facebook group and, and a bunch of comments came in. Um, so some of the apps that, that Jamil and Liz already mentioned were mentioned there, but there's also, so I think the full list that I saw is Peloton, Headspace, Better Sleep, Insight Timer, Calm. Oh, and then this thing called Zenimal. Have you seen Zenimal? Yeah. Zenimal yeah. is cool. It's like a $70 
um, like little plastic turtle that plays different um, like mindfulness meditation. I think I recommended it on the show once. We it have sounds one kind of familiar for traveling. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it looks really cool. And you guys use it? Yeah, it's nice because it's like um, completely app free. You know, like when we're traveling, no screen, a lot of times right? I, I, it just like is all contained in this in this thing. You like push the button for what they're. Um, feeling but it's yeah. it's great if you don't want to have any kind of device in the room i mean that's the thing like for travel we could put an ipad or something in there but i often don't like to have that or if i have to like give up my phone and that's also the time maybe i'm looking at what we're doing um, totally. the next day so i found that to be really helpful plus you can use it like in the car or in the you know wherever you are yeah yeah it says it's nine preloaded guided meditations and three yeah. sleep soundtracks that sounds they're sounds really lovely. nice we still have it i i think it is already at the house yeah and I mean, a white noise machine, there are, there are so many of those now, too, um, which mm-hmm. one of my children prefers that to the podcast, like um, to any kind of like speaking, yeah. um, which you can do. You can also have Alexa or your phone or whatever play it. But we just got a little travel one as well. Yeah. Um, this person had asked for like a particularly like a body scan one. And we do have a body scan meditation that we like, which is from New Horizons Kid Meditation and Sleep Stories. Weirdly, my kids are not a fan of the, of the of a lot of their other meditations. Like they think the woman's voice sounds too much like like a meditation. I, they have something against like, hey, we're going to meditate and it's going to sound like meditation. They want to be like almost tricked into meditating. But. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. But this one, they are they will like ask for the body scan, and she goes through um, like the the full scan and calming down, and where yeah. are you feeling the the you know the energy, and um, I find it nice too. I mean, sometimes when we do these, I'm out if I'm in there. <laughs> totally. No, I'd I'd like to to try this a little bit more. I was going to say, we've had a couple episodes on this nighttime anxiety, too. So I love that we're incorporating these practices. But I also would encourage you to, to you know, listen to some other tips we've given. Because while this is good, you know, I also think, like, having a predictable routine and making sure that you have some time to let your kids tell you what they're feeling anxious about. Like, these are good things, to yeah. Meditation and yoga and all this is great. But it definitely... Um, mm-hmm. It's just one tool for anxiety. So looking into some other other tools for why you're having so much nighttime anxiety, um, especially with kids and making sure that they're that you're dealing with that now. So we don't go into adulthood um, <laughs> with more as much of that as you can, you know, help them deal with now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cause I know lots of us adults have some nighttime anxiety as well. No, <laughs> <laughs> I never lie awake in bed thinking about how I might not get up at 4 a.m. for this podcast. (laughs) Or how the world is burning. I know. (sighs) Thanks for that fun question, just trying to be zen. We would love to know what is working for the rest of y'all. Do you have any amazing tools that we missed? Uh, You know, digital or analog? Leave us a voicemail with your recommendations. 646-357-9318. We're going to take another quick break. We'll be back with our round of recommendations. What's up? It's Kaylee Cuoco. When it comes to travel, we all have a happy place. I just went to my happy place. I just went to Maui, and it was truly amazing. Priceline has always been about getting you to your happy place for a happy price with deals you really can't find anywhere else, like up to 60% off select hotels in Costa Rica or five-star hotels for two-star prices in Cabo. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, Priceline. This episode is brought to you by Undeniably Dairy. Dairy farmers are more than farmers. They're climate caretakers. They see water as a precious resource. Most farmers recycle water up to four times, from chilling the milk to irrigating the crops. And some even use technology to turn manure into renewable energy. To learn more about what dairy farmers are doing to make their farms more sustainable, visit usdairy.com. The Jedi fell a long time ago. Perhaps it is time to begin again. The highly anticipated Star Wars series, Ahsoka, arrives Tuesday on Disney+. Plus. Something dark is coming. One must destroy in order to create. The galaxy is not safe. Don't miss the two-episode premiere. We have to prepare for the worst. Hunt them down. Let's get going. 
Ahsoka, two episode premiere streaming Tuesday, only on Disney+. Plus. All right, let's move on to recommendations. Jamila, what are you loving right now? All right, I'm recommending Black Cake. It's a novel by Charmaine Wilkerson. This is another adult recommendation because I'm coming from a two week yes. parenting break. Uh, this is a book I read on my way back to LA. It's about a brother and sister who are estranged and they have to put aside their differences when their mother passes away and leaves them this recording that opens up a bunch of secrets about their mom's life and about their family. And it's really, really good. You know, it travels across the world from the Caribbean to London to California. And there's all these twists and turns and interesting side characters. It's really good. It's a New York Times bestseller. I think it was the Today Show pick too. Mm-hmm. Um, Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson. Nice. Was it a quick read? Did you literally finish it on the way back? I finished it. Yeah, I, I started it like second half of the flight. Finished it when I got home. Okay. I feel like the best book recommendation is basically like I, f- I finished it on the flight. <laughs> totally. Yep. Yeah. What about you, Liz? Well, I'm recommending this game that we have brought with us. I We didn't have a ton of space to bring like entertainment. We brought some stuff, but we brought this game called um, Cinco Linko. And it is like a little tile game. It's super fun. The kids love it. I love it. Like anytime they wanted to play it, I was game. You can play it with two people. You can play it with four people. It packs up really nicely and is on like a little... Um, like carabiner so it literally like clipped onto the bag between flights and uh we had a little trouble playing it on the plane because we didn't have enough room on on the tray tables Mm -hmm. um and i wish that the pieces were like magnetic and actually linked (laughs) together because they they can get kind of messed up but it is like so perfect for restaurants and any place you're waiting and have some a, a little bit of space and i think Pretty much if your kid can count to five, they can play because it's sort of like you put these square tiles uh, next to each other to try to make five um, in a row. And once you run out of pieces, you're moving pieces that you had. Um, So it's really fun. Like we can all play. and Cinco Linko. Cinco Linko. Nice. I've got a recommendation that might be for your kids. It wasn't for mine. I tried it. Goodles. Have you tried Goodles? Either of you? No. Or maybe it's no. maybe it's pronounced Goodles. It's a food company. They are making mac and cheese, but like supposedly healthy. Goodles or Goodles contains like wheat flour, chickpea protein, um, and then like a bunch of nutrients extracted from like real food: sweet potato, pumpkin, kale, spinach, broccoli, cranberry, mushrooms. And so it tastes like macaroni and cheese ish, but it is more healthy. Like it does have real fiber and protein and stuff in it, um, and less carbs. I bought these because I was intrigued because I love mac and cheese. Who doesn't? Um, my kids saw right through it. They're like, Dad, what the fuck are you trying to pull here? <laughs> they knew it like actually upon first bite. So they don't endorse this, um, but I do. So so I bought like five boxes hoping that they would eat that occasionally. Um, and since they don't, now I'm eating it as a lunch. Uh, I had it today for lunch. So it, it, this is bougie. It's four dollars a box. You know, mac and cheese is one dollar a box, but like yeah. it, it's a full meal for me. I ate the whole box. That's what I usually do. I eat the whole full box and I'm full. I had the like truffle one today, and I actually sautéed some mushrooms with it. It was like a very good lunch, and I feel like four dollars is a lot relative to craft. Um, but like if for a full adult meal, um, that's kind of, you know, it, it does scratch the mac and cheese itch. It really does, at least for an adult, maybe not for the kid. Um, so it's it's satisfying. It's tasty. Um, the cheese doesn't quite hit as hard in, in Goodles, but I think it's it's pretty good. They have funny names, Shella Good. <laughs> yeah, they're clever. Down the hatch. So you did Here Comes Truffle with some I sure did. Mushrooms. I sure did. I've tried a bunch of them, and they're all uh, pretty good. I love it. You know what? Kids are kids are not fooled by. I wonder if you prepared it and called it something else if they would eat it. Right. I feel that when you led with we're having mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we are not. Yes. The hell we are, pops. Yeah. <laughs> Did they revolt? Were they like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. So then I just had to make mac and cheese. Now it's time to hear from you. 
we're going to hear some letters that you sent us. This first one is from an episode where we talked about the girl who used so much toilet paper that it actually caused some plumbing damage in their house. Dear Mom and Dad, I really related to the child using so much toilet paper because 25 years ago, I was that kid. I thought you were spot on. For me, this was absolutely OCD. Though the parent writing in should have their own kid evaluated rather than just going off my anecdotal experience. It was less about feeling clean than a horror of getting anything on my hands, which would have led to five minutes of scrubbing and still feeling unclean afterwards. You are also right that a punishment wouldn't have worked. I would have just accepted that as the cost of doing business, so to speak. In addition to your excellent advice, maybe the letter writer should also talk about hand-washing techniques or make both soap and hand sanitizer available. If their kid's issue is similar to mine, and this is more about clean hands, it could really help them to give them more tools and techniques for getting them clean. Reviewing some of those tips that were circulating at the beginning of COVID could really help. Also, I really appreciated the sensitivity both you and the letter writer showed. I did not have this growing up. Just shame, which never helps anything. What a key insight here. That totally makes sense. And we didn't talk about how it could have been this this very thing. We, we talked about OCD, yeah, but we didn't get the specific. What a, what a helpful letter. Thank you so much. Finally, we have a letter in response to the mom who was worried her husband was being far too lax about their toddler's safety. Dear mom and dad, just listen to your episode on Am I Being Overprotective? I wanted to comment because I'm surprised no one put a bigger emphasis on the car safety aspects of this mom's concerns because there is a big difference in the potential consequences that would result from a slip on the stairs versus poor driving or an improperly buckled car seat. Mom, you can compromise and meet in the middle on examples like the stairs, but you don't need to compromise on car safety. Putting your kid in the car is one of the most dangerous things we do with them. As a parent, it is our responsibility to do the best we can to minimize the risks through the things we can control, car seats and our own driving habits. Thanks. Cautious driver. We have had a couple questions about like car seats and kids that are difficult to get into car seats. And uh, I mean, overwhelmingly, I think every time we're like, listen, this is something that you have to do correctly, like getting your kid into the seat properly in the car, um, because there's so much of driving that you can't control. And Mm -hmm. it's something most of us do every day. And uh, it's something that's really dangerous. So I I appreciate this. I think car seat safety is really important. And you, you have to convey that, you know, to your partner, if you feel like they are not handling the car portion of parenting safely. Yeah. Um, We mentioned this at the end of the episode. But I wanted to shout it out again. We did an episode this summer about car safety. Elizabeth interviewed the baby gear guy. It was a blast. So if you have kids in car seat years, even up to teens sitting in the front seat, give that episode a listen. We'll link to it in the show notes. And that's our show. Please subscribe, leave us a rating or review, and tell your friends. This episode of Mom and Dad Are Fighting is produced by Rosemary Belson, Maura Curry, Shasha Leonard is the voice of our listeners, Alicia Montgomery is VP of Slate Audio, For Elizabeth Newcamp and Jamila Lemieux, I'm Zach Rosen. Thanks for listening. A lot of us probably struggle with sleep hygiene, how to fall asleep, stay asleep, and get restful sleep. But did you know that improving your sleep hygiene could help improve your overall health? Healthbreak, a podcast by UPMC Health Plan, dives into this topic with advice and tips you can use from our expert wellness health coaches. Listen now to find out how you can start improving your sleep at upmchp.us slash healthbreaksleep. That's upmchp.us slash healthbreaksleep. A lot of us probably struggle with sleep hygiene, how to fall asleep, stay asleep, and get restful sleep. But did you know that improving your sleep hygiene could help improve your overall health? Healthbreak, a podcast by UPMC Health Plan, dives into this topic with advice and tips you can use from our expert wellness health coaches. Listen now to find out how you can start improving your sleep at upmchp.us slash healthbreaksleep. That's upmchp.us slash healthbreaksleep.